In this video I'm going to show you how to do a 360 mat toff reset. I'll be using this code in the video or it's in the description below. You have to be able to max off reset. I'd prefer if you could do it consistently but it doesn't matter too much. But you'll find it so much easier if you can do it consistently. Knowing how to heli still helps it up because of the motion of it and also the positioning when you get the reset. So it doesn't matter too much. Knowing how to multiple flip reset and having a very good first reset helps massively as well. So make sure you can do all of these before you start. You need extremely good mechanics for this shot. If you don't have good mechanics, you won't hit it. If you've got good mechanics, you'll hit it. And don't think you've got better mechanics than you can do already. Uh, it is a massive shot, so don't expect you to hit it straight away. I find this mechanics different on everyone, depending how you do the normal Mac Tough reset. So make sure that you don't follow these steps exactly how I show them. Do it your way and how you do it. <laughs> After you get your flip reset, point your car in this position. It needs to be air rolled a bit so when you do the movement you can do the max off. This is important you do this position because this is how the 360 will actually look like. I'd say that every freestyle is starting position is different. I'd find what feels best for you and what looks the best as well. Don't just make it what feels the best, make it look the best as well. Everyone's starting position is similar, but everyone's is a tiny bit different in a way. But everyone's is similar in the way that it actually looks like a 360 max off. Using your joystick, move your car in a 360 motion into position that you would do the max off. And what I mean by this is, it's basically the position you would go into a max off, but you actually get to the max off in a different way. Instead of going to the ball and going straight backwards, you do a different motion to get to the max off. And by this, it's doing the 360 motion before you get to it. Everyone's position from where they flip from is completely different. I'd still say it's really similar, but I'd find the position that you actually do your normal max offs in. So I'd get a clip of you doing a max off, pause it when you just do the flip. And from when you just do the flip, I was getting into that position from this shot as well. So do the 360 motion and get into that position where you do the normal max off, if you know what I mean. Start without the ball and just trying the flip by yourself. You'll get quite consistent quite quickly because it's so much easier to do this than it is with the ball. So I'd recommend getting really consistent at it before you actually go with the ball and I'll show you my controller overlay in a second. If you're struggling, here's my joystick and the motion I do on my controller. You've probably found out by now that it's not actually that much different to a normal max off. It's just how you get to the max off. And this would just come with a lot of practice. It's not really uh, that easy to do. Like you might think it's a lot easier than you think, but it is actually quite hard to get because of the motion and where you actually hit on the ball is so important. And if you're still struggling after all of those steps, compare your shots while well, your fail to mine in the video as well. And then you can see what you're doing wrong, what joystick movement you're doing wrong, etc, etc. Or worse comes to worse, you send a GIF your game link into my comment section and I'll have a look at that and then I'll tell you what to do differently. Being able to do the flip beforehand is the very easy part. Being able to get the reset and also getting the flip into the reset is extremely difficult. And this will come with a lot of patience, a lot of practice and I'll explain a bit now of how to get it. You need to hit the ball in around the same position as the max off, but make sure the ball goes a bit higher and a tiny bit in front. This is so you have got time to do the 360 motion instead of just going backwards. So make sure the ball goes a bit higher and a bit further out. To get the ball to go high, you need to have more speed into the first flip reset. This is done by boosting a bit more into the ball, and this will make the ball go a bit higher for you as well. 
I found this shot is more of a shot that you analyse, try and then copy yourself. So comparing it with another freestyler's shot and then just changing yours a bit. This is how I did it. I asked a few people for the general way to do it. Then I compared myself to another freestyler's one and then just went from there really. When you get your first flip reset, hitting a tiny bit behind the ball will make the ball go in a better position. This is so it will go a bit in front and a bit higher as well when you boost more. This would be in a perfect position for you to actually get the next reset. Some people also say it's kind of the same position as a heli stall reset as well. So just keep experimenting and see what works best for you. As you've probably figured out, there isn't actually too much difference between this and the max off, but the actual setup at the start of it is a lot harder and it requires a lot more space as well. So just practice a lot and you'll finally get it because if you can already do the max off, that's one of the hardest parts already. Just having the time to do the 360 motion is impossible. To make your reset face forwards, Cancel your reset later so it turns your car more around. On the actual max off resets you probably cancel your reset a lot earlier. But if you cancel your reset a lot earlier on this shot, I found more of the time your car won't be facing forwards. So I decided to cancel my, my car a bit later so I can face forwards. For you this might be different, it might just work best when you do the normal cancelling. But for me this is a tip that I have. This shot is extremely hard so be very patient with it. It's going to take ages to do, it will take a lot of nights and it won't just happen one night. You'll have progress every single day and you'll definitely score it. Any questions ask below and I'll reply to all of them. And this is the video and hopefully it's been helpful for you. Like and sub and I'll see you in the next one.